Excuse me. Can I get you something else? Yes. Another slice of pie and the check, please. Okay, coming right up. Oh, and I'll take the pie to go. Sure, sure. Can I help you? Paulina Thorpe? Yes. My name's Detective Hale, Ottawa PD. My department's been investigating a series of crimes across the country, a few of which have happened in your building. Would you be able to come down to the station with me and answer a few questions? Uh, is something wrong? No. I was just hoping you could provide us with some insight regarding our investigation. It won't take too long. Thanks. Do you guys have a bathroom here? Yeah, um, it, it's just down the hallway to the left. Great. Thank you. Thank you again for coming in. Like I said, I just have a few questions for you. It won't take too long. Am I in trouble? No. No, not at all. This is just routine. Once it's all done, you'll be sent home. Each of these men are hired hitmen and they're all part of the Mulatto's crime family. They were each hired to take out a specific target, but None of them succeeded. In fact, while tracking them, they all went missing, and two of them were found dead. Oh. Two of these men were seen in your neighborhood in the last few weeks. Did you see or hear anything at all? No. I'm sorry. It's all right. When people told me I could find you here, I thought it had to be a lie. You really are full of surprises. Maybe you'll show me more when I bring you back. Let me ask you this. Do you recognize this woman? No. See, we believe that this woman is tied to a myriad of crimes across the country, including the disappearances and deaths of these men. She's been seen frequenting different provinces over the last few months and taken on many aliases. Let me be frank, Miss Thorpe. 
we have reason to believe that somehow you are connected to all of this. With that being said, do you recognize this woman? That's my friend Abigail. Abigail Watson. What is this? Her name's not Abigail Watson. It's Kiara Montgomery. <laughs> across the country and is tied to a known crime organization. Currently, we've been tracking her across the city and it's led us to you. What? I have nothing to do with any of this. I have no idea what you're yeah, talking about. I think about. you do. You see, we've checked Kiara's phone records and one number shows up again and again. And we've traced it back to you. Yeah, I thought I was calling my friend, Abigail. Am I being arrested? We're just looking for your friend. And we need further information so that we can find her. I'm telling the truth. I'm not connected to whatever she's done. Miss Thorpe. Now that you know who she is, do you know where your friend is? right now. It's kind of like unique. You don't really hear like, a, you know, a lot of people yeah, coming You know what? Yeah. They're kind of underrated. I don't think I've ever heard of anyone going there for leisure. Like, I'm going to go to the district. Yeah. Which they should. I think there's a lot of Sorry. Things. Excuse me. I just have to take this. I don't know where she is. Mr. Sorison, is everything all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm good.
Mr. Sorison. Thanks for coming in. Like I said on the phone, uh, we're looking for a young woman by the name of Kiera Montgomery. Our sources tell us that you know her. I'd like to think I knew her too. <clears throat> but now I guess I never really did. <laughs> 